We know from the previous video that the honeymoon phase is a period that just happens after your kid gets diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. We know that it's a temporary phase. We know it's unpredicted and um, it might be hard to control in a way. But I'm going to show you the best ways of dealing with it in this video. Um, let me first show you the other topics that we're going to be covering as well. So just to quickly recap, during the honeymoon phase, the pancreas is still able to produce a tiny bit of insulin to aid with the blood sugar control. So the pancreas senses that something is wrong. Um, in fact, the, the fault is in the pancreas itself, but it senses that the blood sugar needs, uh, sorry, the, the bloodstream needs more insulin to um, control the blood sugar levels. So it gives what it can, okay? This is temporary. Eventually, all the beta cells in the pancreas are gonna die. And again, as we said, uh, it could last for a couple of weeks, it could last for a couple of days, it could last for a couple of years, and it might not even happen. So if, you get, if, you get, if your kid gets diagnosed with type 1, and straight away he's got put in, onto insulin, um, and everything is getting managed, um, and his blood sugar is in control, you know your insulin to carb ratio, um, you know, you understand how much carbs are in the plate and you're injecting accordingly and so on, and his blood sugar most of the time is in range, it means that your kid isn't going through the honeymoon period. If your kid is having some random hypos and random hypers and you just can't control it, straight after diagnosis, it means most probably it is the honeymoon period. So the most important question here is how to deal with it. So how to deal with diabetes generally? We need to, the most important thing that we need to do as type 1s or even, and, and at any age, kids, adults, teens, babies, anything, um, the most important thing is to check our blood sugar levels frequently. Why? To gain control over the blood sugar. Because as the honeymoon period occurs, um, your pancreas could decide, to, or your kid's pancreas, and this could decide just to, you know, throw in some insulin here and there. And although you know that you provided the right um, amount of insulin or right amount of food for your kid, for his blood sugar to, or her blood sugar to be in range, um, you find them going hypo, hypoglycemic, low blood sugar, in case you don't know. You should know that. Um, so, best way to tackle it is to check the blood sugar levels frequently. Now, it could be a pain. Um, to do that, especially if you're still pricking your kids' fingers, you know, their kids, um, babies, any wound, any pricking is painful. Um, so I don't blame them if they don't want to do it. That's why technology comes in and helps us. I'm not sure where you're from, where you're watching this, but if you're in the UK, um, the NHS is funding something called the Freestyle Libra or a Dexcom. It's like, the Dexcom is a continuous glucose monitor. Uh, Freestyle Libra is a sensor that measures your blood sugar levels. I have it right here. All it is, is that I'm gonna talk, by the way, I'm gonna have a video just for the diabetes gadget. So if you miss out on this one, don't worry. Um, you don't have to understand everything. But what I wanna say is, this is as simple as using my phone, tapping it here, and then it's gonna tell you um, my or your blood sugar levels, your kid's blood sugar level. Um, why am I saying that this is important right now? Because during the honeymoon period, we need to check more frequently, more than normal, and it's very hard to prick your finger every time. Me, during my 20s, I'm still in my 20s, but like when I was, I got diagnosed when I was 18, um, when I was 19, 20, 21, and so on, I used to prick my finger over 20 times a day because of my activity. Um, and it used to be very painful. I, I hated it, and I'm, and I'm an adult. So I can understand if the kids don't want to do it. That's why this comes in handy. All it is, as simple as tapping. The other one that I know is the Dexcom. You don't even need to tap. It just it attaches in the skin on the body and it shows um, a trend on your phone. Um, and it notifies you as well if your kid is going hypo or going hyper. Now, although that's a good thing, why this could be a problem? Could be a problem because if you're not getting it funded, it's quite expensive. Um, some of the gadgets range from 50 pounds 
uh, every two weeks. There's a freestyle Libra actually. And the Dexcom, I think it was 150 pounds uh, a month. I think. Don't quote me on this. But what I'm saying is, you need to chase, if you're from the UK, you need to try to get it funded ASAP. That's your priority. This is a lifesaver. If you're outside the UK, I don't know how the rules are in your country, but it's very important. Um, health is more important than money. So if you can't afford it, 100% get it for your kids. Um, especially the ones that, so with the Freestyle Libra, the one that I just measured right here, there is another one coming up called the Freestyle Libra 2 that also alarms when your kid goes hypo or hyper. So um, very important to have. And this is the best way to control your honeymoon period. I can't get into details with specific diets or specific insulin because it's subjective to each person. But one fact and one thing that we all uh, need to do, uh, regardless of the age, is to check our blood sugar levels more frequently. So is the honeymoon phase a good period? Some people like it black and white and some people don't mind grey. Honeymoon period is grey. Where it's... You cannot predict all the time what happens in terms of um, insulin production in your body, in terms of if you're going hypo, in terms of if you're going hyper. Uh, but in the same time, you don't need to inject much insulin. So with some people, I actually know that through the honeymoon period, they didn't inject any insulin. They started injecting and then all of a sudden they're like, wait a second, I can actually live without having insulin and without injecting insulin. And they stopped injecting insulin. And throughout the period, I think it was a few months, they didn't inject any insulin, but then all of a sudden, boom, completely type one now and you have to inject. So for me, I'd rather not have it just because I, I want to be clear about my condition. It's going to happen eventually. So don't think that because you have the honeymoon period, you're not going to, you know, um, inject insulin in the future. No, you know, you're still type one and eventually it's going to happen. So it's very subjective. 